everyone, my name is Habiba and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Today we're going to be cooking some authentic Vietnamese food, some crispy authentic Vietnamese pancakes or crepes. Yes, it's going to be good and I can't wait to show you. So for those of you who don't know me, I live in North Carolina, USA and I know you're thinking, mm, you're not Vietnamese. You would be correct. I know I'm not. I'm a black American woman and I happen to be married to a Vietnamese American man for over 20 years and we have three beautiful children and have had tons of experience eating Vietnamese food and cooking Vietnamese food. So I would love to show you how to make this authentic dish. Come along with me into the kitchen and let's have some fun. So we're going to start off, there is our Vietnamese crispy pancake mix and usually it has in there rice flour already and um, cornstarch, salt, turmeric powder and some sodium bicarbonate. So it's already in the bag, um, everything you need uh, to get this started. If you wanted you can also buy the rice flour and just make the mixture yourself where you put rice flour, turmeric, and all the other ingredients that I've mentioned before. So this is super easy. You can get this at your Asian market and it's inexpensive. We're also going to need some coconut milk and this, this is just a brand I bought but there is a better brand of coconut milk. One can. Um, you're going to need a whisk to mix that up with some warm water. You're also going to need several scallions or onions. And also you're going to need some bean sprouts, so some crunchy bean sprouts that you've washed and soaked. So for the pancakes, you're going to need some dipping sauce. So we're going to start off with some fish sauce. You can use a half a cup, but that would be very strong. Um, or you can use about a quarter of a cup of fish sauce um, or even less if you don't like it too salty and too pungent. Also going to need some warm water, going to need some chili peppers. Um, some garlic, you're going to crush your garlic and also a lime and for some sweetness you're going to need a little bit of sugar, about a tablespoon or two of sugar. To wrap the pancakes you're going to need a good head of lettuce. So this is a big fluffy crunchy uh, head of lettuce which I've washed and you're also going to need some basil. This is some fresh basil which I got from the Asian market but you can certainly buy it at a regular supermarket uh, except that at the Asian market they usually sell it in larger quantities and so I've washed this and had it soaking um, in some cold water to keep it nice and vibrant. I'm also going to have some cucumber slices uh, to eat with the pancake and um, some fresh mint which you can see here fresh mint. Um, if you also have some other fresh green you can use that along with all of these vegetables. I got my big mixing bowl, very large mixing bowl, got my pancake mix, crispy pancake mix and as I've told you it has in there cornstarch and rice flour um, all mixed in. Okay, make sure you have your whisk. And here is my packet of turmeric, which I'm going to open up. And it's got this beautiful mustard color, and that's what gives it the characteristic color. Some warm water. And that was about a glass of warm water. I'm also going to add the coconut milk. and mix it in and you want the consistency of not pancake mix per se, not American pancake mix. It, it should be a little thinner than American pancake mix. Mix it in well with your whisk. Yeah, it's really not too hard but you want to make this in advance so you want to mix your uh, batter up and let it sit for about 20 minutes before you fry it. Alright, I finished mixing the batter and as you can see 
Um, there are no more lumps and the consistency is ideal. It's not too thick but it's not too thin and I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes, 10-15 minutes to let it sit. And the spring onions are going to go in the batter. Um, this recipe I'm doing uh, is vegetarian. Um, the pancakes will be vegetarian but since my family does eat meat um, we are going to have a side of minced meat. Uh, I'll cook that in a little bit. Some minced meat and some steamed rice. So, but the pancakes themselves, you can make them vegetarian. Some people do add, traditionally will add thinly sliced uh, pre-cooked pork and uh, shrimp. So you can uh, saute the shrimp and stir fry a little bit of thinly sliced pork belly, for example, and uh, pour the batter on top of it. So that's a great option if you like pork or if you like meat. Uh, but again, this recipe is going to be vegetarian so that you can see it can taste good without to which I'm going to dissolve some sugar. This is about mm, two tablespoons of sugar and you want the sugar to dissolve well in the water so that when you put all the other ingredients in, they kind of float to the top. Because if the sugar isn't dissolved, uh, everything will kind of sink to the bottom with the sugar. So we've got our sweet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the fish sauce. Uh, like I said, some people do add about half a cup of fish sauce. I find that a little bit too salty. So I'm going to do about three tablespoons of fish sauce because this stuff is very potent. Very potent. So we've got our sweet, we've got our salt. I'm going to put a little bit of tangy by adding the uh, lime. This is about uh, one lime. And it's all about a balance. Getting that sweet, tangy, peppery sauce. It's going to be delicious. Okay, so here's my garlic. And garlic is so healthy for you, so try to find as many ways to eat it. You can definitely cook it, you can roast it, you can saute it. Um, I use it to cook anytime I cook meat or chicken, beef, fish. There's really no reason not to cook or use garlic because it's so heart healthy. So once I pulverize I this garlic to the consistency I want, and like I said, you could have chopped it, um, finely chopped it. I just don't like chunky pieces of raw garlic, so I prefer this way. So I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. And mix it well. Also going to add some chili sauce, um, about a tablespoon, and that's certainly optional. So I'm cutting my fine peppers, and you can find this at most Asian grocery stores. This is really hot, so be careful and add as little or as much as you want. This is about four peppers here. So now I'm going to go ahead and add it to my sauce. Taking the spoon out. There we go. So for garnish, you can add some scallions to it right before putting it on the table, or you can also add some pickled um, carrots to it. If you have some shredded carrots, you can add that, or pickled carrots, you can add that to it. And we're done. So this is going to be ready for the table for dipping. Now I made a lot because there are five of us, but usually for an individual serving, you would have a much smaller so bowl. So before I get back to the batter, I'm just gonna take a minute to um, make some uh, meat or ground beef. I'm gonna make some ginger, garlic, ground beef um, to eat with some rice along with the pancakes because I have growing kids and um, they like to eat a lot so and I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of chili sauce uh, maybe one and a half <laughs> we like it hot so I'm gonna mix that in 
chopped garlic, chopped ginger, and uh, chili peppers, and onions. So adding all of this in there, saute it. So I decided why not add some tofu. So I'm going to go ahead and add some firm tofu to that beef. Kind of went off on a little segue here, but that's okay. It's all healthy and um, it just enhances the beef or the beef enhances the tofu really because tofu doesn't have much of a taste to it. You could also fry the tofu separately and then you can use it instead of meat to your pancake. So that's definitely an option. But here, I'm going to actually just add this to my meat. About a teaspoon of sugar that just enhances the ginger and the meat. And I'm gonna add my tofu. Um, the tofu will pick up the flavor of the meat. So it practically doubles your serving, which is good when you have a large family. You know, tofu has tons of vitamin B6, vitamin D. Um, vitamin B6, vitamin D, um, B12, very important, vitamin B12, which you know is good for energy and memory. Here my daughter is helping me wash the lettuce. So just make sure you really wash your greens really well. Um, there's nothing worse than gritty um, vegetables, but if you wash them well, it's amazing how refreshing and delicious they taste. So here's our batter, back to our pancake. I'm gonna go ahead and add the chopped scallions, a lot of chopped scallions to it. And mix it. It's so pretty. Okay. So we're going to start off with a very hot pan, very, very hot, and you can turn the fire down later. I'm just going to put a few teaspoons of oil at the bottom of the pan, and then we're ready to pour in our batter. And you don't want to pour too much, you want a thin layer, and then you're going to spread it. So. That's good, I'm gonna let it spread. That way it's nice and crispy. Appreciate how pretty and yellow it is. So I've been frying it now for less than a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and add some bean sprouts to one half of the pancake. So I'm not adding it to the entire thing because I'm gonna be folding over the pancake. So I wanna make sure that um, it can bend. So once I add the All right, so we've got our bean sprouts on half of the pancake. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cover it so it can cook through for about 30 seconds and then uncover it and fold the pancake. I'm gonna fold it over. Mmm, there's a nice crispy pancake. And to make sure that it's all cooked through, cover it. Just make sure you don't get water into it. Okay, think it's done. Go ahead and put it on your plate. Look at that. And then we're going to stack them. Let's make another one. Okay, we're starting off with our batter in a very hot pan. Hello. Can't wait to eat this crispy pancake. Okay, here comes our bean sprouts. Again, only half. And fold over the pancake. Ooh, that's beautiful. That is so good. I'm gonna cover it, 30 seconds. First batch of pancakes made, ready for the table. Ready to join us. Table is set. Let's show you what we have. 
Here are our beautiful pancakes. And I have some extras because I'm sure they're gonna finish. We have our washed lettuce and basil and mint. And there's the dipping sauce. Here is my beef, spicy beef and tofu to go with the rice. And we're all ready to sit down and eat. Oh, don't forget your cucumbers or whatever other crunchy vegetables. We're about to say Grace, last person at the table, Mama. So, time for me to sit down. Okay, he's going to show us how it's done. You wrap the pancake with some lettuce. That's a little big, so you know, you can cut it a little bit. Yeah, you can cut it or take a small piece. And I have cucumbers and basil and mint. And just feel free to wrap it. Some people actually use rice paper to keep it together, but you can wrap it like an egg roll and then dip it in the sauce. Go ahead, Mariam. It's good? That's oh, very good. lettuce and I'm just gonna pile two. You can fold this part like that. Um, here's my pancake. I'm just gonna cut it in half because it's too big. For your pancake, feel free to use your hands. Um, some basil, some cucumbers, or if I had chopsticks, I would use chopsticks too. And then I'm just gonna wrap it like an egg roll. Like so that. Dip it in my sauce. Big bite. There's no elegant way to eat this. <laughs> no elegant way to eat this. You're just gonna have to put it all in. Mm. <laughs> Tastes pretty good, honey. Mm. This is really messy food. <laughs> There's no neat way to eat it. Yeah. This food reminds me of when my mom would cook. She cook on Sundays, and it would always be special when she cooked. So she worked very hard cooking, just like your mom does. How do you feel about that? Good. <laughs> yeah, the fresh basil. You have the lettuce, the crispness of the lettuce, but then you have the uh, bun sao which has a you know nice crisp with the coconut and the bean sprouts. So you know, so it's, it's, and then with the nook mum you have all the other spices that go into it. So it's a, it's a complex, a lot of, lot of things going on. So that's why people uh, love Vietnamese food because of that. It's just not uh, one dimensional, so, but it's very good. Beef and tofu, which I'm about to try. Hopefully it's as good as the, you say bun sao? Is that how you say it properly? Bun sao. Bun sao? Bun sao. Okay. I'm just gonna use a fork. Tastes really good with the um, nook mum or the dipping sauce. Makes it even taste better. It's got a lot of ginger, which I can taste, and the garlic, and the uh, um, pepper or chili sauce. 
So I wish you could taste this with me. I'm gonna make some more. Maureen, you full? Mm -hmm. No? Still going? Good girl. Thanks for watching! If you like, please comment and subscribe. And check out our other videos. Feel free to comment down below. <laughs> <laughs>